We've unpacked the door and now we lift it into position using the straps. Inside the main packaging, you'll find the fixing pack box, shown here. Inside the fixing pack box, we have a bag with appropriate fixings, fixing plates, grommets, grease, and the instructions. They're inside this bag. We then have the keys, the roses, the handles, appropriate fixings for the handles, and door stays. This door has a pre-fitted pull handle, already done in the factory for you. On this door, we see it needs a lever handle. We'll go through how to do that now. We're fitting the external handle. The first thing to fit is the square spindle. Once that's in place, move on to the actual lever handle. One key thing about the lever handle is it's got a logo. The logo is always on the top of the handle. That way you know you put it on the right way around. Slide that onto position. We then move on to the security bolts. They have a square neck, so they're held in place and they accept the screw from the other side. These always fit in the middle of the handle. You then have two standard bolts. These go through into nut certs, which are pre-fitted. Once they're tight, it's onto the inside handle. Onto the interior handle. Square bar's already fitted. The lever handle, the logo, upwards once again. This means you've got it on the right way. We then have security screws. These go into the security bolt, located at the back, and they're fitted in the middle. You then have the bolts. The bolts go into the nut certs, which are pre-fitted in the factory. Tighten them up, the handle's fitted. Make sure your grub screws are tight, then fit the rows. The two ramped parts of the three-part threshold are fitted to the top of the door. Make sure these are removed before installation. Now that the door is positioned near the opening, it's time to remove the lifting straps. They're secured by a 10mm X. These are the door jacking bolts. They're situated up the frame. They help to jack out the door, hold it in position, and avoid the need for packers. We always advise giving them a little bit of a loosen off before you then go and fit the door. It makes it just that little bit easier with the Allen key. The door's now positioned within the opening. We move on to the threshold. These two parts make up the three part threshold with the one that's already fitted. The longer length goes on the external side of the door. The shorter length on the internal side. You angle the door backwards. The threshold slides tips. Then we angle the door forwards. That threshold's now fitted. For the internal threshold, we do exactly the same, but tip the door forwards, then move it back. The door is now positioned within the opening. We'll secure it in position using a windbag. Just apply a smaller bit of pressure to hold it in place. Now that the door is positioned within the opening, we need to use the jacking bolts before we level and finally fix the door in position. To get access to the jack and bolts, we open the door leaf and as there's no stays fitted at the moment, we'll use a windbag to hold the door leaf in the open position, ensuring that it doesn't move. We now have access to the jack and bolts on the inside of the frame. We now need to level the frame. The preferred system is the laser level, but you can use a spirit level. Pop it on and check. We can see on this one, it is level. If the frame wants to be out and out of level, pack up whichever side's required and make sure that is leveled completely across. We'll now show you the laser level and how to plumb frame leg. So here we see the preferred system of a laser level. The laser level set up and as we can see, the laser line is level with the rest of the leg. If it needs adjusting, use your windbags to pump a little bit more air and push the door either forwards 
or backwards in the opening. Here we can see access to the jacking bolts. This is a 4mm Allen key. Pop it in, twist and wind it out. This will secure the door in place and stop the need for any packers. Our jacking bolts are now set. The door is secured within the opening. We close the leaves and see how they sit. You can see on this one, the inactive leaf is very, very slightly sat too high. We'll use a wind bag, we'll locate it at the top and give it a small pump until we're happy with the level. Now that we're happy with the level, we'll readjust the jacking bolts and get the door fixed. We have the door leaves windbagged in position still to make sure that they're not moving. We now look at the hilti fixings. These are suitable for brick and concrete and timber. They use a T40 head. We're able to fix straight through the hole, into the supporting structure. We have four holes on each side. However, we say as a minimum, you have to have three fixings per side. We have a series of fixing holes along the head of the door. We advise fixing all of these. This will stop any kind of deflection. It might be necessary on a wider door to remove this plate and put an additional fixing through there. Here we can see the adjustable flush bolt plate. This is slotted to allow it to move backwards and forwards. We can see this flush bolt isn't engaging. We just need to adjust the plate. We loosen these two screws, we slide the plate backwards and forwards and pivot it round. Once done, the flush bolt should seal. Now we can see, flush bolt engages perfectly. This door has our three point lock in. When the door closes, there's a little bit of play. This is down to the strike plate, but here at Tech and Truck, we've thought about that. We have adjustment through the actual strike plate, right here. The adjustment comes through these two screws, top and bottom. We can then move this plate further in. This should adjust how tight the door sits to the seal. We tighten up the screws. Once done, let's give the door a test. Now that we've adjusted the plate, let's test it. That's the seal we're after. With the three-point lock-in, we have keeps at the top and at the bottom. These keeps are machined slightly off-centre. This allows you to get a tighter seal, should you require it. Take the plate off, turn it around 180 degrees, refix it. The door now will seal a lot tighter. Here we see the standard lever handle strike plate. This one's on cams. With a flattered screwdriver, rotate the cams to the position the strike plate needs to be in. This allows you to adjust that seal. Perfect. If you're fitting quite close to the edge of the block work, you might be worried about blowing your brick. Here at Second Truck, we have a solution for that. This bracket enables you to fit into the frame, twist and lock into position, and secure. It'll fit in either one of these profiles, so it'll be the front or the back, to make sure you get that perfect fixing at all times. We supply these special grease sachets. They're designed to lubricate where the stay runs in. Open it, apply a generous amount inside. Once done, take your stay arm. We need to make sure the fixing plate is on top. Slide the stay arm into the rail. Line up. Use the appropriate machine screw. Screw into position and then secure. Final step, insert the grommets. Probably the most important step. Make sure the door is thoroughly cleaned after installation. This will make sure that any grease, dust, metal fragments or contaminants are removed from the door leaf. If they're left on, they could cause discoloration. We have a label here, which tells you exactly how to do that. It's nice and easy and simple to follow. Here we find a QR label. This tells us how to adjust the hinges. 
You scan the code, it'll take you to a link which then gives you a step-by-step -step video guide. We also find a key number here. This is useful for ordering additional keys for your door. And we also have the UKCA label which gives you the performance characteristics of your door. These are our special security keys. They're cut in a way that it means that they can't be copied. They're only available through Tech and Trub. On the key, it has a key number. We need that in order to get more keys cut. But there's also a label on the bottom of the door which will tell you that. Our three-part threshold is designed to sit on a level floor. We know that floors aren't always level though. It might be required to fix it. You can drill a hole through, it's a double skin, so you're able to countersink the screw in, but just remember to pack it as well. This door's perfectly aligned, but if you can't get the alignment through manipulating the frame, you can always use the hinges. Here's how. 